So what does out of sequence activities means in prime number of P6? Out of sequence uh, means the situation actually arises when an activity starts or finishes before its predecessor's logical relationship. My upcoming slides are well, uh, you know, compiled to make this concept very simplified for you people to understand. But before that, I would revise one more concept over here. When we were studying activities relationship dependency model, we were understood very well that our successor activities are totally depending on our predecessor activities. So here is the situation. We have already allocated all those relationship in the planning phase. But in tracking phase, the situation is different. So maybe that relationship is overruled. So that can cause to arise out of sequence activity situation. So let's understand together typical reasons. Actually, uh, in job interviews, they might ask you such kind of things. So typical reasons which can rise such kind of situation field reality, then incorrect relationship setups. Sometimes the planning engineers just develop hypothetical relationships. That's why I uh, reiterate this situation multiple times in my uh, you know paid sessions that you should be very logical and realistic while developing activities and relationships so incorrect relationship can also lead towards the out of sequence situations unforeseen si uh, changes uh, construction or engineering constraints can also uh, you know cause to lead towards out of sequence activities so here i am going to share with you the first situation if predecessor you know you can understand in good way that both activities are linked with each other with this relationship but in situation this is the planning this is the tracking situation execution okay uh, it was supposed that predecessor is going to finish then successor is going to start but both are in progress that is the situation which can cause to you know rise the out of sequence activities now this finish to start when we are going to settle this out of sequence this need to be changed either to finish to finish or start to start now i will be helping you to visualize this situation both activities were linked with finish to start right now this activity is already started okay and this activity is also started this is not logical maybe in the tracking phase, the situation is something like that. We are bound to start both activities at the same time, something like that. So finish to start is overruled. Why? Because this activity is not yet completed, but this is already started. Something like that. You understand? So this situation can make the out of sequence activities. Now what we have in our hand on the table, both are in progress. So we can rectify the situation by having the relationship like either start to start because both are in the situation of in progress or finish to finish. So the current finish to start relationship which was planned during the planning phase will be changed into the start to start or finish to finish to satisfy the logic of project schedule. You understand that is the solution. I explain the problem and again I can I have given you the solution. So that is the situation you have to follow. The second situation is something like activities are linked with either finish to start. This is planning phase relationship. The situation in tracking phase predecessor is not yet started, but successor is already started because it is in progress. So this situation will be changed into finish to finish. Why? Let's understand with the logic so that you can absorb the concept. So this is the situation planning. This is in our hands. So finish to start is already overruled. That is why out of sequence activities are there, right? This is already overruled and uh, we can't uh, implement here start to start relationship because this is already started. So start to start relationship is already overruled. Yes, the third one finish to finish relationship is uh, there is a capacity. So yes, we can give here finish to finish relationship because that is the only thing like it has to finish yet and it has to start and so we can in our remaining time strategy we can arrange activity a to be completed as b is going to complete right so logic of project schedule will be rectified and out of sequence activities are going to eliminate it that problem that something like a bug is going to eliminate 
out of our project schedule something like that okay so here we are the third situation is both are linked with either finish to start relationship or finish to finish relationship as per planning phase but in tracking or in execution phase this activity is already completed this is uh, in the midway both having this kind of situation in planning phase as per this situation there is a big out of sequence situation now we have to modify this relationship to start to start why so let's see why we are only having this situation see this was the original now this is the situation so either we are going to have uh, start to start you know your you know only start to start finish to finish cannot be implemented you know this is already b activity is already finished so these concepts are very much easy to understand i think if you can take a paper or pen and you can draw the way i have drawn all the things over here and just think one time so then you will realize how relationship understanding is important to eliminate out of sequence situation right so i would recommend to take a mind mapping at this situation to understand at very primary level right so that is the situation so that fourth situation is not handleable right why because predecessor having relationship either with finish to start finish to finish or start to start all relationships are overruled at the first end right so what the fourth relationship you need to add nothing so you need to make uh, you know i can share with you a visualization this is the visualization activity is already finished the successor activity you don't have any situation finish to start is already overruled start to start there is no uh, you know uh, compensation for that finish to finish is already not available so we have to sit together with project management team and we need to talk to separate these activities and link with some other logical and uh, you know the you know uh, the activities which are uh, compromisable for these situations right to uh, these uh, this situation the fourth one is not going to work for us so these are the situations we are going to handle it in primavera p6 as well one by one that uh, but it should be in our mind in job interviews they are going to ask you out of sequence activities what are the probabilities possibilities so you can draw their different kind of relationship and how we are going to take steps to sort it out right so after understanding all of these things we are going to understand how to do these things in primavera p6 so let me share with you primavera p6 dashboard over here so this is a project schedule where we have a tracking phase already a lot of activities are updated as per uh, you can see that uh, if i can go through uh, this is our data date and uh, a lot of activities are updated but how to check our out of sequence activities so for that you have to follow step by step go into the schedule window and uh, let me share yes and uh, schedule one time if it's not done just to update it then view log make it uh, sure that see like this one such kind of document will be uh, in front of you people just sharing with you people something like that this is your view log okay there you can find some kind of information like project schedule quality indicators uh, open-ended activities so here is out of sequence activities there are six out of sequence activities in bigger projects example over here i have just given you lesser activities in out of sequence in bigger projects maybe you have 100 activities so if you have activities like five to six you will be given all the activities codes ids you can go there and you can manually fix them but bigger projects where you have 1000 activities 5000 activities maybe you have 200 activities but manually fixing like the relationships the logic i have already given you it is up to you either you, uh, you can identify that activity as per this document right you can go there and you can see that okay this activity id like 1000 this is instrument cable this activity is out of sequence this activity is out of sequence now you can make paperwork and see that finish to start what is their current situation as per our presentation slides i have given you the four situations right so as per those situations you have to rearrange their relationships 
that can be happen manually you can go into primavera p6 and automatically as well if there are many activities like 200 100 so i am going to present with the help of automatic way so i'll be sharing that there are eight out of sequence activities so here we are uh, having different kind of uh, you know columns which were uh, at the template section we have already witnessed about this thing so the first thing uh, what i need to do i have more concern about this predecessor activity and successor activity to just uh, you know make the link and logic right these are the relationships so first of all i have to select all of these columns like this way and go into the data and apply filter right so once filter is applied so i have to look into all of these things just one time within predecessor activities i need to see that uh, activity not started see if predecessor activity i just want to find all the activities which are not started okay but successor activity is already in progress right in progress something like that and these are the activities these activities are actually troublemaking activities where predecessor because this is the logic if predecessor is not started but successor is already started that is a problem these activities are actually developing the out of sequence situation so what i need to do i have to make copy paste Control c make copy paste over here so what are the relationships i can give over here these are already in progress these are not started so what is the situation in progress finish to finish right because i have margin so i can finish to finish finish to finish right and this here i have to uh, make d right d for the reason to delete all these activities this is as per the you know procedure this last uh, you know column is delete this row these are identical right okay that's fine uh, we have done our job now i have to remove this one i can make something like that and uh, just wait a moment select all okay and select all we are back to the game now the second situation select all predecessor this is actually the top row which will show me that what kind of column it is completed uh, uh, in progress right this is something the second kind of problematic activities i want to find out so here this is in progress and uh, already completed okay these are the two activities which are making trouble okay it's the same situation you can relate with it in progress completed it should not happen it should be completed then it should be in progress but this is reverse so i should make copy paste control c control v the same thing if it is in progress it is completed what kind of relationship start to start we can go with start to start something like that okay and start to start and here you know d d and d and save it one time and remove the filter okay and remove here select all okay and save it already it is saved i will make it double check and i will close it these are like six activities were out of sequence five activities i have settled down and i think one activity i need to address because that cannot be handled through changing the relationship that is the situation the fourth one right the fourth situation was when predecessor activity is not yet started but successor activity is already completed so i can see that one as well which one that activity is right 
So here I am going to discuss the fourth situation uh, the when predecessor is not even started but uh, our you know I will is not started and uh, our successor activity is already completed. I think that can be one activity is there. Okay, the six activities are done now. So this activity need to rearrange. There cannot be any relationship solve this situation. Okay, the fourth situation. So that's what I wanted to show you people that how these things can be settled down. So I'm going to remove all of these, uh, you can say, uh, filters. I have saved already this one. I will close it. This is done. And now I will be sharing with you people again Primavera P6 dashboard and I will be importing this file. Import next. Project next. Here we are having uh, just one minute. There is a spreadsheet import actually, not XZR. Okay, so I have just click on spreadsheet. Okay, and next, this is going to pick up this spreadsheet from here. I think the same over here. This one, next relationships next uh, update existing project yes import to this project add this one next finish and this is done one time schedule your project and it has changed something right so now i am going to schedule it uh, one time and then we are going to again click on this uh, view log and uh, here we can find that either it worked or not so now you can see that uh, our out of sequence activities are just one i will be sharing this one with you people see over here our out of sequence activity is only left one that is only that activity which need to be addressed manually because that cannot be handled through changing any relationship so that was the important topic in our recovery schedule or catch up plan out of sequence. This is need to be addressed very seriously. So wait for my next part to complete this recovery schedule. This is very important how to eliminate your out of sequence activities. You can see that in this document before there were five activities and the concepts are very important for you people to understand. Right. So see you in my next part to complete our recovery schedule. And if you are only watching this video, you are, uh, you know, not part of our training sessions, you can also uh, take my two hours based Primavera P6 training. The link is given above. And if you want to be part of my four to six weeks live training session, project planning control, you can enroll with my upcoming session. The links and details are given in this video details so that uh, you know, you can contact with my team and enroll yourself. See you in my upcoming video. Thank you very much.